Hello guys, welcome back to my final video of this 2016 Ford Explorer rebuild. I'm going to finish up the interior today, beginning with my restraint control module, which is located between the seats. With the control module, that often requires you to clear crash data. Um, some of them you have to rebuild all together. At that point, I recommend just replacing them all together. So this is part of the reason why I took off the center console for easy access to the module. Uh, and today I got to put it back together. This wasn't uh, a very pleasant thing to do, just with the linkage and a lot of different wires and connectors. It took a little bit of time. Up next, we have the clock spring. This is my old one on the left. Essentially, it melted from the deployment of the airbag from all the heat and pressure. Uh, the one on the right is the new one from the dealership. It cost me about 150 some dollars with some change. And again, my plugs just broke off on the, on the old one, so I couldn't reuse it any, any longer. Replacing it, it wasn't too difficult either. There's a lot of little small screws, a bunch of extra small plugs. I mean, you just want to make sure everything's plugged in together because if you don't do it correctly, then you're going to have air lights either with your airbag system or steering angle sensors. my front transmission cover uh, that sits right over here it essentially I discovered a very small crack when I brought this home from the paint shop there's a couple of drips on the floor once I took the cover off I found a very small crack on the inside here and on the outside right over here so the leak wasn't really major but obviously something that needs to be changed so I got a brand new one right over here and we're gonna put this swap this right now. I also discovered my condenser had a minor little hole that was leaking so I did a pressure test on my uh, AC system to see if the condenser survived. Unfortunately it's a very tiny pinhole that was leaking so I got another replacement, looks just like it. I used a screw to get my broken dipstick out of the valve cover. I was just trying not to have it fall into the actual engine which then will take a lot longer to reach. Um, the actual new replacement dipstick cost me only $4 from the dealership, which I think is a great deal. Also got my hood rod in as well. This thing I think was 30 bucks, a little bit more expensive, but obviously it's necessary to have. I really could not wait to put my letters. My letters came in. These are graphite silver letters that often are found on sport models. These come with a little foam cutout so you can't really go wrong. Um, the spacing is perfect so you just peel off the double stick tape from the back and stick them in. Under the hood we also have the air intake that needs to be put back and then also the battery. <laughs> Once we have everything underneath back where it's supposed to be, the bumper cover goes on. This bumper cover 
took a lot of time to assemble. There's so many different pieces that, that are on the inside. You have grills, you have different bezels, um, it, it, lots of parts. It probably took me an hour or two just to put the bumper together, put up place in all the sensors where they belong. And then now this is where you line up, make sure everything lines up properly uh, with the headlights, with the grill, with the fenders. You don't want any kind of goofy looking lines. And the last piece that goes on today is the fender liners. This is by far my least favorite part of the job. I really dislike putting on fender liners just because it takes so long. It's awkward, it's messy, it's dirty, you have to take the wheels off. Uh, but again, it has to be done uh, before we can go for our test drive. So this project finally came to an end. This car turned out very nice in my opinion. All the panels line up perfectly and the paint match is spot on. She also drives better than she actually looks. It's pretty comfortable inside and I'm sure some of you own one just like it and would agree with me. As you already noticed, the silver grill did receive more thumbs up than the black grill and mainly because the black grill must have some black wheels, black trim all around and so on. Otherwise it would kind of look a little out of place Silver grill also matches my front hood lettering, which I think is a must for any Ford Explorer. So thank you all again for participating and helping me decide, and I truly think this is the better choice just for this specific setup. This vehicle did take quite a bit of time to complete. This was mainly due to me discovering more things as I went along, which also meant waiting on parts. Dealers don't always have your parts on stock, so several days of downtime until they arrive before I can continue with my project. One example of this is a clock spring. I didn't know it was bad until it came time to replace the airbag. Then of course I couldn't install the airbag and the steering wheel until the clock spring has arrived. Labor hours was also higher than normal. The interior ate up a lot of time replacing the dash panel, airbag, seat belts, and more. If I had to guess, I'd say somewhere around 35 hours, not including the wait time on the parts. This time also excludes the outsource bodywork and paint since I prefer the experts to do the painting. I really enjoyed doing this type of work, so for me it was time well spent. I don't have my total cost added up just yet, but I'm hoping to be around $15,000 for my grand total. I also don't pay myself for labor, so keep that in mind as well. Overall, I really enjoyed bringing this one back to life, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it come back to life as well. If you missed part one and part two, I will post the link in the description, so please check that out. So guys, I really want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of the project overall. Let me know what you think of the silver grill. And then also feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. I couldn't be more thankful to this community, liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos. I have a brand new car that I just started rebuilding this week. So please stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video.